All right, Reggie James, um, before we get into a couple of questions, is there anything that you guys would want to uh, speak on or address before we get started? Well, I know. First, I just want to welcome James back. I know you uh, had your birthday weekend. And, oh, man. And uh, Blast. been doing some things. So I know all you haters out there saying James got tired of Reggie bullshit and then gave up on Reggie already. But I tell y'all, me and James... It ain't too much to come between us. Yeah, I was sick as hell. And after that, my birthday came up. So getting that, getting all that together, I, I, I got some good rest. And yeah. and then my grandson got sick as hell. So I couldn't catch a break. Yeah, so, so. That's, that's all that's been, y'all. So still bombing podcast. Keep supporting it, y'all. Y'all been doing a good job, uh, you know, su subscribing to it. And so we almost ready. We're almost ready. And so we can be doing those weekly, weekly when me and James is talking shit straight. And, uh, and I got a lot of shit to say, but I'm going to save it. All right. So, and, you know, we need to touch on some topics, too. You know, on, on Steel Bomber, we're going to talk about all these cops getting arrested, the bad cop shootings. and Oh, my God. We got a whole bunch of good stuff to, to talk about. And so... Uh, uh, you know, Phil Jackson making crazy statements. All this people and this racism coming out, boy. I tell you, boy, it's crazy. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I just I want to give a shout out to my my ex daughter. I call her my daughter in Vegas. Her boyfriend was just killed uh, Wednesday. Um, she she going through it so. I want everybody to pray for her, pray for his family, you know, and that's it. Was it gang related or? No, actually, from what I'm hearing, it was his cousin oh. that shot him yeah. over, you know, whatever they was going through. He was a big guy. Okay. And all I know is when I met him, he told me he wanted to marry my daughter. He loved her. And that was the last time I seen him. And he was supposed to come for my birthday, but he had to work. And I got the call Wednesday evening that he was shot in the back and blew my mind. Damn. Well, change you for you always got deal. Tragic, huh? It ain't running from me, I tell you that much, but I'm cool with it. Even if it come to me, I'm cool with it. No. Well you got you no. got somebody to raise. I realize we all gonna die one day. One day. Yeah. It all depends if we if we rush it, we make it happen, or we just let it come natural. Yep, yep. Well uh Yeah, uh no major updates about Gangster Chronicles, so we ain't gonna belittle over it or we'll talk about it other than <coughs> They'll begin to serve sometimes real soon. That's all we're going to say. I'm going to say this about that. Okay. You know, a lot of people is is getting at me, asking me what's up with, with old boy, with Norm. I'm going to say his name, with Norm. And like the majority of people I talk to, I let them know how I feel about that dude at this point. I let everybody know. I'm not tripping off of Gangster Chronicles, nor trying to do nothing to Norm still. I'm strictly trying to do it by the book, by the paperwork. Yep. Come on, man, let's do it this way. I'm not looking for that dude. I'm not after that dude. Don't know if that motherfucker win, not for real. <laughs> but I'm I'm straight. Yeah. I'm straight, man. You know, that don't define me. I'm not worried about that cat. So everybody that's that's wondering, that was just a part of whatever. You know what I'm saying? I done moved on. I ain't bitter by it. I'm good. You know, now, what he doing, I called you about it. About this 200 episodes. Motherfucker, them episodes ain't, nigga, you, okay. <laughs> he, was, he wasn't part of even half of them. I mean, but 200 yeah. episodes, he, he he making it seem like he did that. Yeah. Nigga, that ain't true. Yeah. Like, like give a nigga his credit. I'm, I'm not going to discredit you out here. I ain't going to put you out there all fucked up. But stop playing with me, homeboy. Stop yeah. playing with me. You be you be getting to me sometime. Stop playing with me, my nigga. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, you know what? Speaking of that, we're gonna bring this up. I know we don't talk that every day, at least four or five times. Mm-hmm. I've been like way mad at you. For what? Well, you know how I get mad when I hear shit. So I want to straight out ask you. Uh, you know the dude that like the. Well, you know what I say. I won't stop disrespecting me. I'm just gonna, you know, I didn't say my piece. Disrespecting who? The guy I'm about to mention. Okay, mention him, motherfucker. Okay. I said I won't stop disrespecting you. I'm just going, I'm going to let it be. Let the record stay in, you know, stand where we at. Yeah, no more addressing him until he, of course, until he said something else. But uh, my boy Bunny Hunter, BJ, he go and put on one of his streams that I was calling for prison, begging you for money, and acting like I was scared while I was... Scared of what? While I was in prison. <laughs> and he was sitting right there and I was calling on the phone and he was sitting right there with y'all while y'all was taping on Grace of Chronicles. And I said, even on the show, shout out BJ. Well, number one, I know if I said shout out BJ or what up BJ, that's just me being nice. Cause I didn't know the nigga as BJ. I knew the nigga as Nino Cappuccino. And the only time I knew him as that was from, um, you know, when he did that little stink with Sugar where he was trying to be an actor. Um, but I just had that action. Well, cause I know you told Norm to cut me off, so I know you did, you know. Cutting you off and telling this person, that person, and that person that you starving is something totally different yeah. than me saying when I was in my feelings, mad as fuck at you, <laughs> don't give him nothing else. If that's how you feel about me, fuck it. Yeah. That's what that was. Yeah. Now, sitting having a conversation, me and Reg only talked maybe what, twice when you was well, in jail? Yeah. So how, in the, how do I say you were scared? Yeah. I know that. I don't know nothing about what you got going on in prison. Yeah. Nothing at all. You, you well, I was calling discussed. complaining and whining to you about Okay. It. No, I'm just breaking them down. Okay. Now you calling complaining about money. Money didn't have nothing to do with it. What, what, those two times you got money and then we got mad at each other. That was, that was the end of that. How do I know you starving in prison when exactly. you got a mama, daddy, a wife, and everybody exactly. else? Yes. And I had a YouTube family that was looking out. John, uh, B Daz Lee, uh, uh, B D Block. Okay, now you bunch of niggas. You getting your, you yeah. getting your, yeah. what you call them? Yeah. And and yeah. come on, man. Red, sometimes you just gotta stop. Oh, it. I just said I gotta ask you. Okay, yeah. and, and you can ask me anything, and I'm right. I'm gonna repeat myself, yeah. and I'm gonna say what the fuck I gotta say. I don't bite my tongue for nobody. Yeah, you already know that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'll remember, that. That's no, I did not say. You starving. No, I did not say you are scared in the penitentiary. These things I do not know. Yeah. All right. So, y'all, that's his story on to Mr. BJ making up stories again. Don't know why this brother seemed the one I mean, making up stories. You said it many a times. If I cap at somebody, it's only right for them to come back at me. Oh, yeah. However, y'all feel about each other. But don't lie. If I get caught in a lie. Half of the lies on social media is motherfucking. But I don't the lie stories on niggas. are told is lies. I don't lie on niggas. That I'm not talking about you. You done said some shit before. That was a lie? Yeah. What? I ain't gonna tell no, no, That's no, a no, long tell, goddamn story. I wanna story. know the lie. No. I wanna know the lie. Mm. Tell me the lie. No. Tell me the lie. Uh-huh. It might have been a mistake, but it wasn't no all right. Okay, lie. it could have been a mistake. What did they tell me? No. Cause you can't think of it. You just like these motherfuckers in the comment sections that always, every time, ready to lie, ready to lie. Call me on one. I'll give you your money. I'll send you a t-shirt. I'll send you whatever I want. If you call me on an uh, outright lie. See, now, I can make mistakes. I don't want to say it because it's kind of like personal shit. Like between us, like what was happening with, with, with Buntry and all of them. So I don't want to. It's it's not for everybody. I tell oh. you after the show. 
We have we have all said some shit that was out of line. But wait or, or was have it been a mistake said. or was it a lie? It could have been either or. I don't know how to do oh, the two. Okay, okay. I don't know the two. If if it oh, if it's mistaken in, about something. If it's inaccurate to me, yeah. then I, it's oh that's a goddamn lie. That's wrong. Just like how you take it with, with what he said. Now I didn't had a, a whole lot of conversations with BJ. And when people calling me about what BJ said, how you feel about what BJ said, to me, I've learned anybody that speak on this fucking internet or social media shit, that's that's them. Okay. Let that be their truth. Let that be. I, I mean, I don't give a fuck how they poke their chest out. I don't care. So you gotta you gotta start learning like. Fuck sucking in to some of that shit, no, man. No, no, you gotta, you gotta. When somebody say something about you, you gotta just say what, what, or explain it. Well, you could have called me and said that. Don't wait that. Don't wait for no motherfucking show to come, and then me and you arguing on. on you ain't tired of arguing with me on motherfucking. <laughs> like All real right. shit. No, I just Call thought me. about it when we started talking about it. Yeah. So, no, man, I don't. Man, I can say some bad shit and talk bad when yeah. I'm mad at Reggie. And I don't give a fuck. And I done told everybody I fuck with. I could be mad as fuck at this dude, but it ain't gonna last long. Yeah. My history with him is nothing like everybody else's. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. It's family. It's, to me, it's family. Yeah, it is. So everybody can suck my dick with that shit. I yeah. don't care about none of that. Well, that, that ain't where we're going today. No, I'm just but, saying, you're getting me mad now. <laughs> Chill. Oh, my God. These niggas hate being called. Ask a question. No, I don't, no, I'm cool with that. I'm just saying how you react to certain things. Look, the FG situation. I stopped reacting to that shit. Yeah. I stopped feeling a certain kind of way. The, uh, what's that fucking nigga? Norm. His shit. Gangster Chronicles shit. I don't react to it. Because everybody is looking for a reaction, bro. Yeah, yeah. And if I give everybody a reaction, the only thing I'm gonna get is is jail time or I told you so. Yeah. I'm here to prove everybody mm -hmm. wrong. Fuck I told you so. This me. Man, you really gotta do something to me for me to feel that I need to. That I need to go there. Yeah. And other than that, come on man, don't bite into that bullshit. What are we talking about next? All right.